Hi, I'm Coach Lance and welcome to OnlineHockeyTraining.com. This could be the most important video you've ever watched. Mm, I'm so excited. Today I consider myself an off by stick handling and shooting specialist, but when I retired from the NHL in 2002, I wasn't. I didn't even know what a toe drag was. I think it's important for you to understand my journey on how I got to this point in time in my life. Because if we're gonna be working together, which we will, you better learn a little more about who your off by stick handling and shooting coach is gonna be. When I'm finished, you're gonna know exactly how I'm gonna help you develop elite level stick skills. So here we go. In 1975, I started playing organized hockey in Blaine, Minnesota. My family moved to New Hope, Minnesota, where I finished up my youth hockey career. The next three years were spent at Cooper High School. There's my coach, Kenny Staples. He got fired up from time to time. From there, the next four years were spent playing for the University of Minnesota Golden Gophers. I signed my first professional contract in 1990 with the Philadelphia Flyers and spent four years playing for their AHL team, the Hershey Bears. There's my first ever hockey card. My next stop took me north of the border to Prince Edward Island, Canada, where I spent parts of two years playing before becoming a full-time player for the Ottawa Senators. I was just up there for an outdoor alumni game. Man, do I love Canada. In 1999, I made it to free agency and I signed a three-year deal with the Florida Panthers. I played some hockey, wrestled the Gator, and made my final stop in Colorado with the Avalanche. I didn't even make it till the end of training camp before my body said, you can't do this no more. And just like that, in 2002, my hockey career was over. I limped away from the game having had eight surgeries, two on my ankle, one on my knee, one hip, both sides sports hernia, elbow, and nose surgery. Only lost one tooth though, I can't believe I still have it. Now I never won a Stanley Cup, but I did have a couple guys touch me who did. Yep, that's Wayne Gretzky touching my right shoulder, and looky there, Mario Lemieux is touching my hand with his face. Now I didn't have a clue what I was going to do with the rest of my life, so I spent the next two years mostly up at my lake place. I hired a buddy and I helped him remodel a couple cabins I had that I rented and eventually sold. Life was great until one moment in time that would define the direction I would travel for the next 15 years. My oldest started to love hockey, and soon after, my youngest started to love it too. The problem was... I wasn't a skilled guy. I preferred to focus on another aspect of the game. Once the boys got the hockey bug, my focus changed and I became the student. I researched everything, but you have to remember, there was no YouTube or Instagram back then. Everything was in book form or DVD. I quickly gravitated towards stick handling development. For six months, I would go to the rink I grew up playing in, New Hope Arena, three to four days a week with this DVD player and go back and forth, up and down the rink doing different stick handling drills. It was crazy how much I didn't know and I was super excited about all that I was learning. I was actually getting better and at a rapid rate. I could see a huge improvement. A couple years after I retired, I finally got a real job. I became the rink manager of the Pitlick Pond. Here I am on the world famous Lance Boney. It was some of the best years watching my boys and their buddies just play. I miss those days and nights. One of my other job requirements was sharpening skates. The boys call me the Blade Doctor. This is when things just got crazy for me. I've coached my boys and their buddies through the years. This is my 16th year covering all the levels, mites, squirts, peewees, bantams, and currently helping out with the Chaska High School team. About nine years ago, I became a USA Hockey Level 5 Master Coach. One of the drawbacks from coaching is you don't get much sun. In 2003, I came up with a stick handling product idea. So I made a prototype, brought it out on the ice, and the kids loved it. So in 2004, I started a company called Sweet Hockey, and the Sweet Hand Stick Handling Trainer was born. Yes, that's right. I'm an inventor. This is Cartoon Coach Lance. Awesome. The company name has since changed to Sniper's Edge Hockey, and we now have a full product line of off-ice stick handling and shooting training aids. From shooting tarps, slick tile flooring, pass master, balls and pucks, we have it all. And I don't know if you noticed, but we partnered with a company you might have heard of, CCM. Yes! Seriously though, if you need anything, go to snipersedgehockey.com and use Coach Lance for the coupon code for 10% off. By 2010, I'd been starting to categorize drills and progressions and then creating lesson plans. After seeing how my boys were enjoying it and were improving, I decided I was going into the private lessons business. So I built a website, created a brochure, and before I knew it, I was training players on a regular basis. 
We'd do a practice plan together, and then I'd give them a sheet of paper with the drills we did, and they were supposed to go home and practice the drills two to four times during the week. When I asked the parents how the homework at home was going, the common response was they couldn't remember all the drills. A light bulb went off in my head. Subscription-based hockey stick handling website. An online stick handling was born. I was so proud of what I produced. I had printable lesson plans, the corresponding drill video. So once again, I asked the parents, how is the hockey homework going? A dad said, it would be nice if there were some shooting drills. Are you kidding me? How could I be so stupid? In less than a year, I relaunched the new website, OnlineHockeyTraining.com, and yes, there were shooting drills. The next four years, I was really in the trenches learning my chops. I was on the ice most days, coaching or running skills clinics, and doing a ton of lessons with players young as five years old, all the way up to a couple playing in the NHL. That's my nephew, Tyler Pitlick. The other thing I was doing was training on my own. I started experimenting with different visual concepts and drill progressions. The best part was I had a constant stream of players I could test out the new stuff with. If they liked it and it accomplished what I hoped it would, I'd film a quick sample of it and add it to the library. It was a very creative and fun period of time. I had close to a thousand drills in the database and was starting to plan the next filming schedule. But in 2015, who do you think came knocking? The NHL? Maybe a comeback? The Hockey Hall of Fame? Nope. Even better. It was my good friends over at CCM and I was jacked. They wanted me to be their skills instructor on the CCM Skills app and use a portion of my stick handling and shooting program for it. It was a two year project and I was on cloud nine. Check out what Sidney Crosby had to say. Congratulations on downloading the CCM Skills app to help improve your game. You'll be training with former NHLer Lance Pitlick who's a stick handling expert from OnlineHockeyTraining.com. When he finished filming that, he looked over to the cameraman and said, Uh, who's Lance Pitlick? All right, the time has come for you to make an important, earth-shattering, life-changing decision. Are you going to pack up everything and move out to Minnesota so we can train together? Or are you going to let me come to you? You see, Coach has been working hard putting together a new website and filming the new drills for what will be the best stick handling and shooting program ever created. Am I being cocky? Nope, not at all. I'm confident because I know the program works. I've been testing it for years. Here's my wall of fame. Most of them are in college, so I can't show their faces. Shh. NCAA violation. I even had my first Olympian and gold medalist this year, Danny Cameron Easy from Team USA. Here's footage from a lesson we had back in 2013. Congratulations, Danny, and to the rest of the team, and your head coach, Rob Stauber, and assistant, Brett Strode. Played with both of them at the University of Minnesota. Now, I know you're one of three people. You're either a parent, a player, or a coach or skills instructor, and you're all looking for the same thing. Answers. Answers to how a player can rapidly develop elite-level stick skills. Am I right? What I've developed is a revolutionary off-by stick handling and shooting training system that's dummy proof, provides measurable results, is easy to use, accessible 24 hours a day, and all the drills can be done in the comforts of your home in your garage, basement, or backyard. You don't have to think about coming up with off by stick handling and shooting drills ever again, as I've done all the heavy lifting for you, and I have enough drills to last you your whole career. But the reality of it is, most players, probably including you, your son or daughter, or the players you coach, don't do any off by stick handling or shooting training at home on their own. And if they say they do, it's more or less a couple stick handling patterns on a shooting mat, a puck trick or two, or a pile of pucks where the player just grips and rips. Oh, and one more thing, 99% of those shots are on the forehand, making the backhand very sad most days. If you're not satisfied with where you are as a hockey player, and you want to make a change in order to gain a little more confidence, increase your puck possession time and games or move up to a higher level team if you're having those thoughts obviously whatever you've done in the past hasn't been working or hasn't been enough if you want things to change you have to change how you've done things in the past and in most cases it means adding something different to your regular weekly routine for example in the off season during the spring and summer let's say you've skated an average of one to two times per week most weeks the past couple years then you need to ramp it up to at least two to three times per 
per week most weeks. If most of those spring and summer ice sessions are primarily games, as an alternative, cut those games you play in half and use those hours to work with a technical skating or on ice skills instructor. You'll have way more puck touches during those training hours, so it's impossible not to improve and see the benefits of this slight alteration to your training schedule. Does this make sense? But the one skill acquisition option that most players choose not to utilize is off by stick handling and shooting at home in the comforts of your garage, basement, or backyard. Why is this? I have no idea. But what I do know is that I've been training players just like you or your son or daughter for over a decade and have seen player after player add this skill acquisition component to their regular weekly routine and have seen each and every one of them grow into confident and dominant players regardless of level of play. It's not that difficult to do the math. There are 52 weeks in a year. For easy numbers, let's say you commit to adding three hours of off by stick handling and shooting to your schedule per week for 40 weeks this year, which may seem a lot, especially if you've never done this type of training before. But if you look at the big picture, you still get 12 weeks off from training, which is three full months. I don't recommend you taking three months off in a row, but you have plenty of vacation days you can spread out over the course of the year if you stick to this plan. The best part of this opportunity is that at the end of the year, if you execute your plan of three hours per week for 40 weeks, you just got 120 hours ahead of players who don't do off-ice stick handling and shooting. That is a game changer. Look, I know I have the world's largest database of off-ice stick handling and shooting drills that I've packaged into neat and tidy individual practice plans that players can access 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. I have the success stories of player after player I've worked with here at my training facility in Minnesota for over a decade that made this weekly routine alteration and have continued to reap the rewards from this extra effort and investment into themselves season after season. If you're ready to take on this venture, I'm ready to show you the way. All you have to do in order to get this process in motion is become an online hockey training member and begin. There's no better time to start getting ahead of players than right now because if you can learn a lot more than someone you're competing against, you're no longer competing against them. You're leading now and they're chasing you from behind. Become a member today and let me take you on a hockey skill acquisition journey that you wished you would have started years before. Thanks for watching and I look forward to working with you.